Hello guys, today we're gonna be drawing with extra long nails because I hate myself. Okay, so here we have the nails. So I'm gonna be testing this out on both paper and on the iPad and other stuff too. Okay, let's start. Okay, so let's put on the nails. So I have some glue over here. Let's put the glue on the nails first. And boom, now we have this. Wow, my hands are so ugly and crusty. Anyway, now let's stick the long nails. So all you gotta do is put it right here and then press really hard. And then just rinse and repeat. Alright, Picasso. I'm in my RuPaul's Drag Race era. Okay, okay. It was going very well until it wasn't. So when I put the nails on my other hand, that's when I realized there is no going back. Because bro, I literally had to pick it up as if I'm using chopsticks. And I'm not very good at using chopsticks. I'm a disappointment to my Asian family. Look at me, guys. Why do I look so serious here? It's like I'm plotting a murder over here. Alright, pretty nails. I'm like if Freddy Krueger slayed. Let's try to measure this real quick. 3.5 inches. Well, it has a very nice personality. Okay, so now we're gonna test it out on both traditional and digital art. Let's test out what you can and can't do. First off, you cannot hold a pencil like a normal person. I'm telling you, with the way I'm holding this pencil, I swear God is looking down on me and being like, do you want tendonitis that badly? Like, this is a whole carpal tunnel speed run, okay? Okay, but good news is that I can still draw semi-decently. I mean, I can draw a straight line. I can also draw a circle. Although a very crappy circle. And I can draw other complex stuff. Ooh la la. Okay, so on the iPad, I can still click with the tip of my finger. It low-key hurts though. However, in Procreate, you have to double tap to undo, right? You cannot do that with long nails. Because it will hurt like stepping on Lego brick. Instead, I just use my toes to undo. Modern problems require modern solutions. Okay, first let's try it out on paper. I'm gonna try to draw an eye. And I'm gonna draw really rough shapes first. And yes, my hand looks uncomfortable because it is uncomfortable. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get tendonitis. So yeah, I spent a good couple minutes in this position. I'm kind of starting to regret filming this. I want to die. Anyway, let's do the lashes. My left hand is literally just for emotional support. It's really hard trying to shade with this bad boy, but honestly, after a while, it's not too bad. Not that the pain goes away, but you just kind of get used to the pain. Like period cramps, you know? Let's make the eyelashes longer. Beautiful, yes, if I lashes. Okay, now I'm gonna get my pencil and look at this guys i'm literally just trying to get it but i'm struggling i am so pathetic anyway let's shave this bad boy real quick all right and to make it even more picasso we need to smudge it with our finger uh, how do i wait a second Okay, so obviously I can't shade it with the tip of my finger. Like, you hear that sound? That hurts like hell. Pathetic. So let me just press with the back of my thumb like this. Bruh. Okay, well that's pretty decent. Now let's do the other eye. All right. Okay, here are some thoughts. Okay, overall, drawing on paper was just really awkward since you have to tilt your hand in different angles, especially when you're shading. I feel like digital art would probably be better since you only need to use the Apple Pencil. Okay, now let's do the iPad version. Guys, I already know that it's gonna be worse because I can't even lift the freaking Apple Pencil from the case. Skill issue. Anyway, let's do the straight line test. So yeah, it's also pretty fine. I can also write pretty well. So far, so good. However, normal when you do this with your four fingers, it's supposed to clear the canvas, okay? I can't do that with my slay yasified fingers. I can do that with my normal fingers though. But if I had to rate my control of the pencil, I would say it's around an 8 out of 10. Anyway, let's draw an eye again, okay? Let's just start sketching. Okay, I take it back. Bro, this is so freaking hard. I cannot tap on anything without my nails hurting like hell. For example, here you can see me struggling to literally just resize the eye drawing. This is so hard, man. I would rather just step on Lego bricks all day. Well, anyway, drawing itself is not that hard. It's like, how many times have I drawn an eye, bro? I could do this with my eyes closed. No pun intended. Anyway, let's add the eyebrows real quick. All right. We have a pretty solid base. Now let's add some lashes and then some colors. Let's use an airbrush to add some definition. And guys, I don't know if you can see, but I'm not resting my hand on the iPad, which is pretty hard. You know what else is hard? Eye dropping. I have to use the back of my finger just to eye drop a color. This is so hard, y'all. Okay, and then my finger started itching, so I scratched it. It felt good. That was the only good thing about having long nails. It hits the spot for real. Anyway, the eye drawing looks muddy and unblended out, but let's focus on the details first. Let's zoom in and then define those juicy lashes. Alright, so this is what we have so far. Now let's take a little break. This is my lunch, guys. Oh, crap, a chicken just fell. Let me just... 
Alright. While I was cutting the mangoes, I actually almost stabbed myself with the knife and with my nails. So that's pretty cool. Okay, wait. Can I actually eat with my nail? Hold on. Ooh. Wow. Long nails are actually really versatile. I bet this will have more flavor after scratching your booty cheeks. Anyway, let's go back. Let's just add some highlights real quick and then add the lashes back on. So guys, I'm actually really stupid. I've been trying to airdrop the colors by holding my finger, but literally this button is actually the eyedropper tool. I can literally just click this button and I can pick any color. So anyway, please never mind those spots. Let's just add some more details on the iris. So at this point, it's very messy and everything's unblended. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Smegzy airbrush and just airbrush in circular motions. So yeah, it's pretty hard to see on the camera, but this is what it looks on the screen right now. It looks like it's easy when you're just watching on the screen, right? But I am suffering inside and out. Right. Let's clean it up some more real quick. And lastly, we're just gonna add the upper lashes. So just the lashes above. So I'm actually really tired. I don't want to draw with extra long nails anymore. Okay, so here's the final result after drawing with 3.5 inch nails. It's honestly not that bad. And it wasn't that hard, okay? It's just that your hands get really nerfed and you work like 50% slower. I could have finished this fully rendered in like 20 minutes. I could have made this better if I had my original crusty looking nails, okay? But anyway, I'm gonna render this more later. So now, let us take off the nails. Okay, so I decided to take it off and it's exactly as painful as you imagined. Okay, so apparently you're not supposed to do this. You're supposed to soak your hands in warm water first so that the glue comes off easily. So please don't do what I did. I am so stupid. Not only am I stupid, I am also secretly a masochist. I'm literally re-watching this footage of me and I'm cringing so hard because it hurt like hell. Alright, back to crusty nails. Well, I'm never doing that again. So here's my final thoughts. First off, major respect to people who wear really long nails. I'm talking about you, Edward scissor hands, Freddy Krueger, the iconic drag queens that you are. I don't know how y'all live with wearing really long nails. Drawing with long nails is actually kind of easy. Like once the pencil is in your hand, it's just kind of breezy, man. Light work, no reaction. The hard part, however, is having to do everything else. Like grabbing the pen, tapping on the iPad, taking off your pants to pee. That, my friend, is the hard part. I genuinely felt really nerfed, okay? That said, I would never do this again. Unless I was a masochist and I wanted to make myself suffer. Hell no. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Watch this next time. I'll see you there. Stay cool.